Okay, so here's my inverter setup. Got the uh, Harbor Freight inverter here. Uh, here. 1500 watts. I'm using one outlet. Got a 12 gauge extension cord. 50 feet. Run it into the basement. And here's my generator. My Caprice, 140 amp alternator, big stuck battery cables, and to show you the setup here, got a everything is normal, good volts, running fine, fuel is even hanging in there. And doing a good, totally normal cone temp. Got my little fan set up. When I hit the AC, it runs one fan. It's part of my setup. Pretty smart. Let's see, what else has the storm done? This is not too good. My, my line is actually fine. However, go over here. Over here. Sorry about the wind noise. Got a sagging line there. Got a sagging line there. And all the way over here, you got a, another drooping line. This happened. It's my neighbor's tree and shed. Happily, my antenna still doing good. How about that? It's amazing. Good stuff. So now, complete the setup. So by the way, it enters the house there. Next to the uh, antenna, actually. There's the other side of the inverter, by the way. Go to the basement. Cord comes through right up there, and runs on the floor over here. to my laundry room area. Oh, look at that. And we got a furnace. Proving that somehow. All right, so here's my laundry room. Got a, my sort of, I'd like to say ingenious, it's really not that big of a deal. But uh, my splice down here. It's uh, basically a converter between the NEMA 5 regular household plug and the NEMA 10 uh, dryer type plug, which is basically this guy here. This is the actual dryer plug. This is the one I bought from uh, Home Depot. So basically the hot lead of the regular plug goes to both of the hot leads here, right? So they're in parallel. And then the neutral and ground on the other one both go into this one here. So two on one go to one on the other. Each one has two that go into one. So it's only two, uh, two uh, wire, um, wire nuts. And finally, <clears throat> to conclude the tour, So I'll go over here to my breaker box. Actually, let's get a little light going since we can. There we go. And just to see.
Main is off. Everything else is on. Everything's running cool, normal. Panels, the entire house rather, is being fed by this dryer connection. So one of the 120s feeds one side and the other 120 feeds the other side. 240 is not available. The potential across the uh, 240 buses is zero volts rather than 240 because they're both in phase. They're both coming from the same power source. And that's it. That's my backup power.